Good afternoon, church, and I'm so excited to bring the Word of God to you this afternoon. And I strongly believe the Word of God will give you strength, will give you hope. Amen. But before doing so, let me pray for the tithe and offering that you give to the Lord. Father God, I pray as we give to you as the act of obedience, Father God, as little as we have, Father God, that we give it to your hands, you will multiply what we give to your house to bless others that are also in need, Father God. We tie in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Word of God that I want to bring to you today, I feel it is very inspiring to me. It's also challenged me as well as a pastor. And when I read this to you, you will understand that this chapter also inspired me. And I strongly believe that God wants to use this word to speak to you as well. It is recorded in Luke chapter 10, verse 25 to 37. It is about the parable of the Good Samaritan. But in this parable, it only shows one part. I want you to see the other part that is very, very important. On one occasion, an expert of the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? He replied, how do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. This also recorded in Matthew chapter 22, that when Jesus commented on his answer, that Jesus said it's right. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, with all your heart, with all your soul. And love your neighbor as yourself. This is very, very important question to ask about human life. What is it that is so important for our life? End of the day, what is it the most important things? What is it the most important thing the Bible is writing to us about? Jesus summarized it in chapter 20 in the book of Matthew. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and all your strength. And love others as your neighbors. And love your neighbor as yourself. That is the full meaning of life. Now you think about it. One day, all of us will not be on earth. One day, we will be in heaven with Him forever. So we better learn to love Him. We better learn to know Him. And not just with Him alone, we will be with others as well. So, God wants us to feel what He wants us to experience in the future with Him. And in verse 28, You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this, and you will live. So, this is the most important thing of human life. Verse 29, But he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, Who and who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They striped him off his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road. A priest. Somebody is teaching the law. Somebody that knows the word of God. This is why I said the word also challenged me as well as a pastor. It's like to say a pastor happened to be going down the same road. And when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too, a Levite, somebody is working in the temple, somebody is working in the church, somebody that knows the Lord, somebody that is really close to the pastor. When he came to the place and he saw him, pass by on the other side. But a Samaritan, somebody unexpected to happen to walk 
on that road, somebody that people would not expect to help a Jewish man, somebody that people back then considered as unclean group of people, people that they don't want to have communion with. As he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wound, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. You see, the Samaritan, somebody that is unexpected, some, some people that the Jews don't want to have relationship with, show an act of compassion to help a Jewish man. And he did it unexpectedly that when the man being healed from his wound, when the man recovered to pay him back, he didn't expect that. All he did, he just wanted the man to live. And he sacrificed his resources, his own means of traveling. And he even said, if the innkeeper spend more in taking care of him, he will reimburse. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert of the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Brothers and sisters, I know that in this season, the season of COVID-19, season of lockdown, and sometimes if you are able to be on the street, only if you have permission to though, everybody should be at home. Or if you see the news through Facebook, through other means of communications, you may see people are in need. If we see on our streets, we see people that are in need. I want to challenge all of us today that when we see the people that are in need, let us do something about it. I strongly believe that when Jesus tell the parable to the man and keep the parable for all of us till today in God's written words, that because he wants to send a message to all of us as his followers to learn to love him daily but not just to love him only not just to say god i have faith in you i love you but also act according to his desire he his desire also ask us command us to also love our neighbors as ourselves i know some people are facing needs of food some people are facing needs in different other things. But let us do what we can do. And I know it takes courage. It takes faith. It takes sacrifices in order to help other people. But I strongly believe when we do that, we are practicing the most, com the, the, the most biggest commands that God commanded us to do is to love him and love other people. I want to take this opportunity to thank our church members who has been acting to help to choose to do something to the community, help the community. Some people are helping others with their own resources. And there are some people that have been partnering with New Life Fellowship to continue to contribute food to other people. And I know that during this time, we cannot get a lot of people to come and pack up. So there are family, I want to tell you that there are family that have been volunteering just to pack up food that have been uh, given through our partner, through the people of our church, and have been doing it. And other people have been volunteering. And 
to deliver those foods to other people. And I strongly believe through this situation, God able to show His love through you and I. And I strongly believe together we can do more. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8, it says, Love never fail. And I strongly believe through the act of faith, through the act of obedience to the Word of God, to love Him and love our neighbors. In those each step, God will show miracles. God will reveal Himself in each of those steps as we are moving forward. And I strongly believe we will fall in love with Him more and we will fall in love with people more as we do this together. And I would love to invite you to act, to do something about it. When we see people on our street that have need, when we see people in our city that have need, you can choose to act upon it by yourself, or you can choose to partner with New Life Fellowship, and we can do this together. I would love to pray with you during this season for those that are living in the red zone, the yellow zone, or the orange zone, or the non-color zone, which is good. But I want to be able to pray with you that during this time, God is working in your heart and God will lead you to love Him more and to love your neighbor. Father God, I pray for my brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter where they are right now and what condition they are in. Father God, teach us to love you more with all our heart, with all our strength, with all our mind. And help us, Father God, to love our neighbors as ourselves. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.